Hello, Abuja. You're welcome once again to Sabi Law on the Beat 97.9 FM, Abuja. Today, Mr. Onyeka Chioma is here with us to discuss a very important aspect of our lives as um, individual citizens of Nigeria, particularly when it has to do with uh, employment. We're looking at the employer and the employee, and we're looking today specifically on whether a private employment can terminate, <laughs> a private employer rather can terminate the employment of his employee without any reason. So, if I am a private owner of labor, for instance, I a manufacturer, a business owner, a CEO, an MD, can I just sack my staff? Can I just terminate that employment without any reason? All right, thank you, Mr. Kenny Chuko Abu. I, will, uh, I have this to say. A private company, business, or institution that is not owned by government can hire and fire its staff at any time with and with or without reasons, although with proper notices or payment in place of such notices. A private employer does not need to give reason before terminating the employment of its staff. Now, the, the essence is this. You, in life, you're either an employer or an, an employee. Employee. In short, at times you may even be both. <laughs> both you know, <laughs> you know. So, so this is very key. You know. And uh, in the employment world, we have only two employers. Government and non-government. Government, what we call the private sector. That's, that's it. Mm. Now, those in government, they are covered by laws, which are which, uh, federal government or state government laws. And, those mm. laws are very expressed on how to hire Trade and how and to the rest of fire yes. the staff. Mm. That's on one side. Unfortunately, those in the private sector, from the law firms to the host, private hospitals to the radio stations to the, to chemist. the chemists to mm -hmm. the to, to to the domestic staff yeah. you know to the drivers and uh, drivers in the private sector though and the rest of them now this sector is where you have a master servant relationship this is the sector where a man hires and he fires now the court has said this you cannot force a willing employee worker employee <laughs> On <laughs> an unwilling staff. Uh, sorry, unwilling employer, master, yeah. employer. Now that means that when you are sacked, you are sacked. You, you I can't be I can't I can't be the owner of a chemist, a as a pharmaceutical shop, and I have fired you. Maybe you are you're a driver. I have fired you and you want to go to court, that court should force me to re, to recall you and keep you as you will kill me now or to even explain to you the you reasons understand? why i have fired now, now the only thing you i owe or uh, an employer owes employee is before terminating the employer employee's uh, contract, appointment yeah. contract give the person adequate notice, notice. or payment in lieu if you money. can't give the notice because maybe things are going bad mm -hmm. you can't wait the, then you pay the person at least one month in place of that notice we keep using the word in lieu. That's too much <laughs> English. Okay, so Mr. Kachi, what of uh, situations where uh, business owners, because they don't want to be held by that uh, um, clause of adequate notices, they decide to force the force the employee to resign. To resign. Because they do that a lot in some banking uh, institutions and or other things. So what they do is to log you off. So when you come in, you can't log in on for, your system. For lack of time. And once you can't log in, they will advise you to resign. Yeah. Now, that so. is wrong. At that point, the person should rush to a, to his lawyer. If the person cannot uh, afford a lawyer, head to the National Human Rights Commission, Commission because uh, there is a way you can look at it and you will see fundamental human rights issues to squeeze and extract out of it. Ordinarily, there are issues of uh, labor. And the right court to handle them is the National Human, the National Industrial, Industrial court. court, NIC. They have offices in almost all the 36 states in, in Nigeria, as it were. So the long and short is that employer employees can be sacked at any time. In our subsequent editions, we're going to focus on 
the right of um, an uh, employee. employee, employee yeah. uh, for what we have said, our authority is Angel Spinning and Dying Limited against Aja. It's a 2000, and, it's it's 2000. 2000 case, and uh, you can see it in the uh, electronic law pavilion. It's a court of appeal case, and there are a whole lot of other Supreme Court cases supporting this position of law. Thank you, and go Sabi Law.